Boom Kareem Kabam guys, this is Games Techno back with another freaking video and this is yet another gaming news video and in today's video we're gonna cover some short and sweet or should I say rather short but sweet gaming stories the first one being PUBG's new map Paramo we're gonna talk about that and then we've got a uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare or Warzone update, an update which was a much anticipated update for the PC gamers or by the PC gamers. Pardon my grammar and there. <laughs> and then the final story of the day is Watch Dogs system requirements being changed at the last freaking moment, kind of, you know, because the game's about the release and uh, they're, they've tweaked some stuff in the system requirements, which is, I mean, to say the least, it's, it's fishy, yeah. Now, PUBG is releasing a new map called Paramo, which will feature dynamic landscape and is coming out on October 21st. So, I mean, you only got a few days to wait. It's like, yeah, just a week from now. I mean, I don't play PUBG that much, but I think it's going to be funky. So the tweet says, hashtag Paramo's dynamic landscape will keep you guessing each drop. Hashtag PUBG, hashtag season nine. I think it's uh, launching alongside of this new season and uh, that the season is also releasing on October 21st. And then they've attached a freaking video with it, which is only a 40 second video in which you see some, you know, all the trailer kind of stuff that you typically see in game trailers. But you see the thingy changing, the map changing, you know, the lava mode on and off, and then some player is dropping down, and then you see um, people shooting the cargo, and the drop falls down. So, I mean, some new mechanics kind of are getting introduced to the game and uh, they've said in this tweet as i said earlier that this is a dynamic landscape or this you know map will introduce some kind of dynamic landscape which i wonder what it is indeed going to mean they haven't you know made it clear or anything they want to um, kind of make some hype around this topic so that people are you know continuously guessing what's coming up. I don't know what this dynamic landscape mean Does it mean I mean in the lava environment the drops will uh, drop different kinds of weapons or whatever and in the known lava environment They will be different or something in the drops because that's what I can gather from this 40 seconds of video But again PUBG is not <laughs> very clear about whatever's coming up hopefully we're gonna get some other trailer as well before this uh, update arrives and uh, we just might get some more details before the update freaking drops into the game. Now, the second story of the day is a Call of Duty Modern Warfare or again Warzone thingy. Now, Paul Hale, the production director of Modern Warfare, tweeted himself yesterday stating that tomorrow's update that is today's update will have mode specific uninstall options for pc modern warfare owners oh man thank you very much paul hale thank you very much for this freaking thing that should have been in the freaking game from the very beginning now last week i did not post any videos but you know uh, the stuff was in the air I think it's how it is supposed to be said that the game's size has increased so much that this game now does not fit on a 250 gigabyte SSD. That was freaking insane. I was like, what? I mean, for a lot of budget gamers, 250 gigabytes is the entry point that they use for, you know, just, just having an SSD. 128 is like too small for me even. So, I mean, 250, 250 gigabyte is a sweet spot that people enter in from in the SSD thingies or the people that do not have that SSD, that is. So, the size was going over the roof, basically. And finally, they've given us PC gamers. Consoles have had this feature. Now, finally, it's arriving on PC that you can download the game in parts or whatever the thing 
is that you play on your PC, you can just download that. If it is the single player, you can download that. If it is the war zone, you can download that. I mean, details will probably be revealed once this patch comes out today. And this patch name is 1.28. So yeah, I mean, pretty funky freaking news. I love it. And I'm probably gonna install Warzone after this update goes live and the size is gonna be, I mean, hopefully quite substantially smaller than what I had to download. I mean, when I downloaded the game before. <laughs> now to the third story of the day, that is also the final story of the day. Watch Dogs system requirements have been changed. Now, on the screen right now, you can see the detailed thingy or system requirements thingy plus features thingy that Ubisoft shared for Watch Dogs Legion. I mean, they've made different sections for ray tracing off and then ray tracing on. On the CPU side of things, things are very similar to what they stated in the previous system requirements. For that, you can check out the video whose card will be showing up on the top right corner right now. So that is the system requirements that they stated before these ones. Now the main thing that has changed from those system requirements to these system requirements are actually the freaking graphic cards only. I mean, mostly they are, I think they are. And for the graphic cards, as you can see, in the ray tracing on, you know, uh, column of this freaking uh, table, or columns rather, the cards have been changed. The 2080 Ti, which was, you know, previously mentioned for being the card able to play this game at 4K ultra settings, is replaced by a 3080. And of course, at 1440p, very high settings, the 3070 has been introduced, which I believe was the 2070 Super in the last case. So yeah, I mean, it's just basically Nvidia advertising their new freaking toys, you know? I mean, even though you probably know that the 20 series cards are also going to be able to run these games just fine. Of course, we know that the 3080 and the 2080 Ti are very close or basically neck to neck. I mean, 3080 exceeds its performance, but just by a little bit. So the pre previous system requirements were just as accurate as these ones but there's just a marketing tactic i'd say but the thing that is kind of bothering me i mean not that much of course but that is the 1080p low settings gpu has been changed as well i mean what and it's been changed from a gtx 960 to a gtx 970 Okay, I mean, of course it's a bit of a jump and then uh, they've got 1080p high, they've got 1060 recommended there and I think that the 970 and the 1060 are quite a bit of similar performers but of course it is a new card, the 1060 that is, you know, relatively to the 970 so of course the game's gonna be more optimized for that. So yeah, these were the tiny little changes that Nvidia probably has forced, I, I can't say forced, ha, must have requested maybe Ubisoft, I don't know, to do in their system requirements so that the new big boys, the 3080, 3070 and all are in these new games, you know, new game system requirements that is Watch Dogs Legion. I mean, that was all for today's video guys. I hope you guys liked it and if you did, don't forget to like the video. I mean, it's a, some pretty freaking self-explanatory stuff though if you need an explanation for why i haven't posted in a few days or a week and a half or some shit like that now a simple explanation would be if you give a man the number of views that he gets by posting five or i mean 10 videos and you're gonna give him the same amount of views with one video of course, it's going to apply some pressure on him. So, I mean, I appreciate the support a lot that I've gotten on the last two videos on my channel. And I hope to do the same for the next ones as well. Though, I'll make sure not to check the video analytics so much. I mean, I get freaking obsessed with them. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye-bye.